Well, hello there, Leo. It looks like as your spiritual awareness heightens, you recognize someone around you as a greater connection than you ever knew. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Leo Tarot reading. It is a general reading, usually between two energies. Every now and then we have multiples that try to creep in there. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. Okay. The thin, thin veil. Number 36 reduced to a nine. Let go and let flow. Who else got that this week? The Aries. Be the bridge. Number 51 reduced to a six. Expand your consciousness to behold both worlds. Hmm. A lot of spiritual and intuitive expansion this week, which, hey, go team. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. If there's anything in life that you have been a bit of a control freak about, this is your this is your sign to loosen up or let go. Um there's something where the fear of the mind and the and the truth that comes in the into one's intuition just basically adds more fear. There's an element of trust here. Okay. That needs to be this one. All right. Um, that needs to be embraced. I'm preaching to the choir here because I'm getting a similar lesson in life, <laughs> but I have no Leo in my chart. Um, this is you becoming a, a different version of yourself. The next version of yourself. It's scary. It's scary to let go of the old, of how you've always been. Okay, to integrate new. Show me what's going on with Leo, please. Got it. And that's reflecting in your relationships. You're seeing that in your relationships already. Friendships or that fall by the wayside or that fade into the ether that just don't, they don't maintain themselves, that you have to push at it or control it in order for it to exist at all that could also be family and romantic relationships ah singular energy are we becoming single let's see four of wands page of wands fool sun there's leo energy right there page of cups three of swords oh this is a single leo okay so you're single from the beginning from the get-go, King of Pentacles, that's Taurus energy. Okay. There's there's the fear. <laughs> I'm not getting three of swords as heartbreak here. I'm just getting it as flat-out fear. Which is a bit of um umbrella emotion, right? Because you seem excited to meet this person. Oh... Did you get some, um, um, how can I put this? Um, did you get a sign from the universe when you met this person and it, and it spooked you out a little bit? I mean, you got the warm and fuzzies too. There's the low key excitement there. Curiosity, maybe a little bit of flirtatiousness. This person is emotionally and physically available. There's no outstanding anything. They are ready for new. Okay. And we're definitely digging on the soul bond vibe with the four of wands between you. They're telling me that for someone, this is an existing roommate. For someone. That's really specific. But in, in generally speaking, you meet, they are ready. The energy starts stabilizing between you two early on because of the level of soul bond. 
Excuse me. There's something where you're got it. Um, because of how the other part of your reaction that you're not telling people, okay. Um, you're totally a copacetic with taking things one step at a time here. Are you discovering an empress for the first time? Oh, it's looking. See what happens. Let's get the details of the situation. Got it. You getting kind of thrown and meeting this person is actually a symbol of your soul evolution. The result of the work you've been doing. Got it. Very good, guys. Show me the four of wands, please. Show me the four of wands. Three of wands, magician. Five of cups, hangman. Nine of cups. Oh. Hmm. There's something in coming to terms with the truth of what it is you really desire for your life, one or both of you. Um, looking out, kind of looking out to the world like, what should I, should I not kind of manifest? What should I, should I not look for? Kind of held things up a little bit. What makes things go faster is embracing the truth, the absolute truth. What is it that I really want? If it could be anything, what? Because once once that truth is accepted, then the universe starts to move in your favor. Okay. Show me the page of wands, please. I can't take all that, guys. <laughs> Third of the deck. Uh, few cards at a time, please. Few cards at a time. Show me the page of wands. Yeah, you know this is a win. You know this, you know this is a long-term partner. Five of swords, six of wands, queen of pentacles. You know this is a long-term partner. King of pentacles, queen of pentacles, spouse energy. Show me the five of swords. Eight of cups. Seven of wands, chariot. Mm. Ace of cups on the bottom. Ah, so part of the fear is the search is over. That happens from time to time because we spend so much of our lives or so much of our, we spend so much thought on the one and finding the one for so long, months, years, decades, whatever. That's like when they finally come along, it's like, wait, it's over. And there's something kind of spooky about that. There's something scary about that. It's like this thing that you've been doing for so long is it over. Chariot card of cancer for those keeping track of Zodiac on the board. Um, so there's like the desire to kind of slow this down. Got it. Um, in in order to um, in order to slow the change, it's like, but the change is already done. The change is already done. Show me the three of swords, please. Good. Wheel of Fortune, Tower, Queen of Cups, nice. King of Swords on the bottom, that's Aquarian energy. Tower, Scorpio energy. So the three of swords changes for the better. There's a breakthrough there in the heart space, as well as in the whatever mental pattern that's associated with this three of swords that is holding you up, not necessarily spooking you, but holding you up. Yeah, you might fall in love sooner than you think or sooner than you have in the past. Okay. Show me the, oh, wait, no, get one more. There we go. Show me the fool for this person. Show me the fool. The wheel, nine of coins, queen of wands. Hmm. So this is someone who has been pretty solid being single. And it's actually quite the risk to get into a relationship from their perspective instead of a risk being single, which is good. 
which is good. True, true self-sufficiency, independence. It's good. Um, they're actually excited to get into the world to find to find their person to relationship. They're they're excited to partner. Okay, good. Show me the page of cups, please. King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Seven of Coins, Nine of Cups. Okay. Her cup is looking for her match to make plans with. Plant new seeds, plant a new garden with somebody. That's the wish to find your person. Show me the King of Pentacles. The Moon, the Hermit, Ten of Cups. Holy shit, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we have Taurus, Pisces, Virgo here with the Ten of Cups. So in getting to know, in in the search for the one has been a long one for this person. It's been a long one. But they've kept to the path. <clears throat> Excuse me. They have kept to the path. Okay. What, discovering whether... Early on or later, that the Ten of Cups long term happiness with another person is the goal. Is the goal. Okay. Hmm. This person is very much looking for the yin to their yang, or vice versa. Or the yang to their yin, given this is coming more as the feminine. <clears throat> Where's my water? <clears throat> okay. Okay. So there come there you meet them, cause a little bit of a spook. We regain our footing. Our heart space catches up. Our heart space catches up. This is good. Okay. I'm going to head over to the extended. I'm going to see what's going on with them in there because they they don't feel like there's any drama. No, no, nothing. They're just, they're available and they're ready and they're here. And they're excited. So I'm, I'm curious as to like, do they have anything going on? <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. Um, I'll see what's going on with them in their current energy, their near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you in this lifetime. So, if you are interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you, as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I see you guys over there. Bye. Ooh.